And you have company. That's always my favorite question. How are you doing? Unwell. We are unwell. I have company. Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> Lots of people out here actually walking around. More people than you would think. We actually have some people taking pictures. I saw some people walking their dogs and the dogs actually looked surprisingly happy. So let me show you what they're experiencing when they're walking around. Again, difficult to get those unofficial snow totals that we would normally try to get you with that ruler because of the wind. It's causing significant piling and drifts. If we walk this way, this will just give you some perspective for really how deep the snow can be in some areas. Again, this is not an official or even unofficial way to measure the snow, but this just gives you an idea of what people are dealing with as they try to walk through the snow. For some perspective, take a look here. You can see about a foot here easily, maybe even a foot and a half. But as we get closer to this trash can, you can see bare ground. So that's just a good you know, way to show you guys that certain areas have a lot of snow. It's piled pretty high. Other areas, though, not so much. Like I mentioned, people kind of having a blast out here, taking photos in the snow, <laughs> enjoying themselves, which it's okay to do as long as we keep in mind that there is a safety component to this. The wind is pretty brutal. So covering up as much as you can. We've seen a lot of people with those goggles on, the gaiters on around their face. That is probably ideal. And then of course, by foot is the best way to go if you're going to go anywhere because they are working to clear these roads. Oh, there's one of those snow pups. Take a look at that. Just having a blast. I'll tell you guys, some of these huskies and stuff really look like they're having so much fun. And then of course, right next to that, we couldn't have pieced this together any better for y'all. Snow plows coming through, showing you guys what the city of Boston is doing. They said that between the city and contractors, they will have about 900 plows out on the roads here today. And we have seen them coming through. But as you can tell, that plow just came through and you still can barely see any roadway if you can see any at all because the amount of snow on the roads is so significant right now, which is something they warned about yesterday in their news conference. The city saying, you know, we're probably not going to be able to get bare streets while this snow is falling because two to four inches an hour is a significant amount of snow to keep up with. So it's best to just stay home, stay off those roadways. If you are going to come out, dress extremely warm and also of you know note the snow is actually changing a little bit so we initially started with that very you know powdery mixture this snow is not even packing at all now it's becoming harder very icy when it's hitting me in the face it definitely hurts a lot more before it was just kind of melting right onto my skin but now it's definitely getting more of that icy mixture so again probably a good idea to just stay inside and stay home but this will be a storm that will go in the history book. So if you have to get out and you have to take that photo, you know, just make sure you do it safely because again, out here you asked how I'm feeling and it's pretty brutal conditions. There's really just no way to sugarcoat it. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.